Hello friends, my name is Iman and here is Iman Global YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to access Adobe Firefly, an artificial intelligence tool, completely for free. In this video, we will be working with the free features of Firefly AI, such as text to image, generative fill, and text effects. So stay tuned until the end of the video, and you will learn some valuable insights about artificial intelligence. To access the Firefly artificial intelligence, we open the internet browser and enter the website address that you see. As you can see, Firefly.adobe.com offers AI capabilities such as text to image, generative fill, text effects, and generative recolor, which are available for free. Some of the AI features are currently inactive but will be released soon. Further down, you can see beautifully crafted images generated by Firefly's AI. Additionally, there's a video showcasing the Firefly AI and some of its developing features, which will be provided by Adobe in the near future. Now, we click on the gallery option through the main menu of the website. This way, we have access to the gallery of images created with Firefly AI and we can examine these images. They can serve as inspiration. To start using Firefly AI, we need to sign up and create an account on the Adobe website. Don't worry, everything is free. After registration, we can log into the site and take advantage of Firefly's AI capabilities. After creating an account on firefly.adobe.com and logging in, it's time to unleash the power of Firefly AI. As you can see, we click on the text to image option to enter the exciting section of creating images using prompts. In this section, you can see images created using prompts. When you hover your mouse over each image, the Try Prompt option is displayed. An interesting point here is that by clicking on it, you will be taken to a new page where you can see the prompt for that image, and also create a new similar image with the same prompt. A bit further down, there is a text box for inserting a prompt. I have a ready prompt. and I will paste it into this section. After clicking on the Generate button, the images created by the AI, Firefly, will be ready shortly. Now we are on a new page, and we have several powerful options available to us here. From the right menu, in the Aspect Ratio section, we have the ability to control the image's aspect ratio. I set it to Portrait, and the images are generated with the new dimensions. A bit further down, in the Content Type section, there are various forms available for image creation. I select Photo. New images are generated. At the top of each image, there is an icon for free image download. After downloading the images, I set the content type option to graphic to see the result of this visualization form. The AI generated images by Firefly are very attractive. Let's review them. At the top of each image, there is a download option, and I download several of them. A bit below the content type, there is a feature called styles, which itself has multiple categories, and I test them. In the popular section, I choose the digital art option to see the result of this style and visualization. A bit below styles, we have the option for color and tone, and I set it to warm tone. There is an option for lighting available to us, and I select dramatic lighting. Finally, there is an option for composition, and I set it to close up. Now I click on the generate button and I'm excited to see the output. The new images generated by Firefly with the new settings we applied have become even more attractive. Let's see them together and examine them. As I mentioned before, the download button for the AI-generated images is located at the top of each image, and I download some of the best ones. After exploring the text-to-image process by Firefly, I now want to introduce an exciting feature to you, and that is nothing but try prompt. For this purpose, we go to the gallery page of Firefly's AI-generated images. As mentioned a little earlier, by hovering over the images, we see the try prompt option. 
I click on Try Prompt, and what happens is that new images are created based on the same prompt that was used to generate the current image. The interesting thing here is that on our new page, we see both the previous prompt and the settings used to create the image. We can edit them and create new images with the same previous prompt. I click on the refresh button to see the new results for this prompt. I like the new images, let's examine them. Now we go back to the main page of the Firefly AI and explore the generative fill feature. I click on the generate button located in the generative fill section. We are taken to a new page. On the new page, we have the option to upload a desired image or use existing images to test the power of the generative fill system. I upload an image that is stored on my computer's hard drive. After the upload, we have access to the generative fill capabilities. Now we have a brush at our disposal. I want to change the character's outfit. So I use the brush and draw it over the clothing to select it. Now, in the prompt section, we can specify any outfit and color we desire for the AI to generate in place of the character's current clothing. I enter the option Black Suite. Next, I click on the Generate button and wait for the final result. New images are generated. We examine them, and they are interesting, but I don't like them. Now, I click on the Cancel button and increase the brush's range on the image. Once again, I click on the Generate button and wait for the output. The new images generated by the Firefly AI are slightly better. I select one of them and click on the Keep button to save it. Now let's test the Background option. This option removes the character's background. Now we can fill the background by entering a prompt. I enter the word park to prompt the Firefly AI to transform the background into a park. Next I click on the generate button. The AI generated results are very attractive, but I expect more from Adobe. By clicking on the more button, I ask the Firefly AI to create new images for me. The new images are better. I select one of them and click on the Keep button to save it. Now I want to challenge the Firefly AI. I select the character's eyes using the brush and ask the AI to create glasses for the character. For this purpose, in the prompt section, I enter the word Glass. Then I click on the Generate button. The results are fascinating. Let's examine them. The AI-generated results are very good, but my expectations from Adobe are much higher. By clicking on the More button, I ask the Firefly AI to create new images for me. The new images are better. I select one of the new images and click on the Keep button to save it. After the process is complete, we have access to the Download button in the top right section. I download this image. Now I want to go back to a previous step and explore the generative fill system using the images provided by Adobe. In this section, I click on the Try Example button. I click on the Background option to see the power of generative fill in removing the background. Firefly did a good job in removing the background. Now, to fill the background, I enter the word Park in the prompt section so that the background is transformed into a park by the Adobe Firefly AI. Now I click on the Generate button. The images are very interesting. I select one and keep it using the Keep option. Similar to the previous image, I now use the brush to select the area of the character's eyes. Using the prompt section, I enter the word Yellow Glass to create glasses for the character. Now I click on the Generate button. The new images are excellent. I select one of them and touch the Keep option to save it. Now for changing the outfit, I use the brush to select the area of the character's clothing. In the prompt section, I enter the color and type of clothing. Now I click on the Generate button. 
The results of Adobe Firefly's AI in changing the outfit are very impressive. The new images are excellent. I select one of the new outfits and touch the Keep option to save it. Now, I use the download option to receive the new image for free. Now, we return to the main page of the website and explore another option of the Adobe Firefly AI called Text Effect. In the Text Effects section, I click on the Generate button. On the new page, we see stunning text effects created by the Firefly AI. I select one of the text effects and click on the Try Prompt button to create an image based on that style. On the new page, inside the text box, I type my desired word. A new text effect is created by Firefly based on my word. From the top right section in the sample prompt branch, by clicking on View All, we can see all available text effects and apply any of them to our own word with just one click. I randomly select one of these text effects. It quickly applies to my word. It is very exciting. Under each image, there are four thumbnails representing different variations of the same text effect. You can choose them to apply a new variation to your word. I do this step. On the top right of each image, there is a download button to obtain the images for free. In the top right section under the sample prompt option, there is a section called Choose your font where you can change the shape and style of the font. A bit further down, there is even the possibility to control the background color. I change the background color to orange. Now, let's try another text effect on my word. Using the thumbnails below the image, I select another variation of the same text effect. And now, using the button at the top right of the image, I download this image. As you have seen in this tutorial, we explored various features of the Adobe Firefly AI, such as generative fill, text image, and text effects. Firefly AI exhibited impressive capabilities and mesmerizing results, living up to the reputation of the Adobe brand. More new videos on artificial intelligence will be added to this channel soon. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.